Hello everyone, I am your German snob and I'm here with another episode of Let's Play Deus Ex Human Revolution. I am so happy that you can join me again for another episode of this uh, great game. And this day we are going to go to the Hive nightclub, which appears to be where we might or might not find that one hacker that we have to find because reasons. Well, apparently he is our uh, lead on the uh, mercenaries that attacked us in the beginning of the game. So, you know, why, why don't we follow that lead? Let's take a shortcut here by hacking this gate right here, which appears to be pretty easy. Also fortify this and this while we're at it. This one too. Uh, that one too. We should have plenty of time to do this. And most of all, it shouldn't be hard. Uh, let's take in this one. Access For a change. Granted. And done. Well, that wasn't hard. But then it's also a fairly basic... Uh, shortcut kind of deal. Looks like we want to go to the uh, Kuai Gan district. And personally, I don't see anything wrong with that. I just want to look... Can I take another shortcut here? Or... Well, as a matter of fact, it would look like that. As if I can just casually go through here and... get into this uh, computer room with a safe in it. That I can totally hack. Is there anything I have to gain from doing this? Uh, I'll see. But at the very least, that's uh, not right out of the question. It's probably just a bunch of uh, random gar garbage that I can... Uh... That I can take out of the safe. But that is fine. No problem. Access granted. So what do we have here? I have no idea why I took out that weapon. So I'm going to holster it again. Some money, not too bad. You know, so far I haven't really found much to actually spend the money on. So... It wouldn't seem like there is much. But nonetheless it's always good to have just in case. I might need it at some point. I think the problem is that almost everything I can buy, I can also find if I just look around enough. But you know, I guess that's beside the point. We should be there pretty Buddy, soon yes, at the Hive Nightclub, as you can see by that cyberpunky neon advertisement. Yep, here it is. Hey there, the Hive is a man that's only club, Lawai. Without a membership card, I can't let you in. You telling me I gotta pay to get into this dive? We've got a reputation to keep. Can't let just anyone get in here. Just anyone with the money. No pay, no play. You want in or not? Well, that would be something we could spend our money on, but Maybe I don't another want time. it. All right, your business. You come back and see me if you change your mind. You aren't honestly implying that I'll actually pay to get it. You're lame little club there. Uh, there are other ways to get in. I'm sure of that. I just need to find them. Uh, though I kind of wonder... What would those ways be? Let's scout out the area and see about that. Now here in that little side alley, we may eventually get to a back, back door or something like that. Or an air vent, that works as well. Yep, that will get us right in. 
as if we had to pay to get into some lame ass little nightclub. And we could get out of here too if we wanna. Okay. I think what we have to do is talk to the owner. Wherever he might be. Also, it would appear as if that was the lady's toilet. But who the hell cares? Really. Could I hack this? No, I could not yet. But I probably don't need to either. Hey there, bartender. You got a favorite poison? Uh, no, 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 nothing of that sort. I'm looking for Tom. Everyone wants to talk to Tom. Check the VIP lounge upstairs. VIP lounge upstairs, okay. Well, in that case, that's where I'm gonna go. VIP lounge upstairs. Once again, this is rather reminiscent of a section in the original Deus Ex. Also set in a nightclub, and I think we also had to talk to the owner there. Didn't look quite as fancy as this one, but it was... still a pretty good section. Hello? You work here? Yeah. You could say that. Good. I need to see your boss. Really? Well, I'm sorry, Guaido. Mr. Tong Zi Hong sees no one today. Look, I didn't come halfway around the world to take no for an answer. Do us both a favor and tell me where he is. Or what? You get mad and tear down a few walls with those enhancements of yours? This place isn't named the Hive for nothing. It's got plenty of worker bees come out of the paneling to stop you. What is it you think Mr. Tong do for you anyway? I'm looking for someone. A cybersecurity specialist named Ari Van Bruggen. You know him? Never heard of him. What do you do? Steal your girl? Owe your money? He had a job go bad, and now he's on the run from the people who hired him. But you knew that already, because a man like Mr. Tong doesn't hire idiots. And this is the first place people like Van Bruggen come when they need help. So stop wasting my time and take me to Tong. You've got it backward, boy. You're wasting my time. Van Bruggen is minor league player. Tong knows who he is. He just don't care. He's got bigger things to worry about. I see. So, uh, that's another one of those sections, isn't it? No, not that one. Let's go with that, yeah. You expect me to fall for that? Small timers don't attract this much attention. They don't have bell tower soldiers staking out their apartments. Van Bruggen's pissed off somebody big. And there's no way Tom's going to ignore that kind of development in his town. You... Smarter than you look. Yeah. Tom is keeping a close eye on things. Like you said, he's no fool. Van Bruggen is the hottest thing in town right now. But nobody in Hinshaw is going to let an outsider in on the action, especially not a Guaido. You don't know the rules of the game around here. Hmm. No, no, no. Yeah, I think that sounds pretty convincing. Being an outsider here gives me the advantage. I got backup and support that nobody else knows about, plus some resources of my own. Your boss can gain from all this, but only if you let me see him. Maybe Van Bruggen should have gone to you for help, instead of coming here. But it worked out okay. We found him a safe hiding place. Speaking of safety, you still haven't told me who you are. Or who you work for. 
You tell me you want Van Bruggen, but when I ask why you deflected the question, that's a lot of reason not to trust you. Yeah, he, uh, he's not an idiot. So... Yeah, let's go with that. You say anything to get rid of me, won't you? There's no way Tom can hold on to Van Bruggen for long. Not with the kind of resources his enemies are throwing into the search. He'll be dead within a week, and Tom with him. Unless somebody, namely me, takes the heat off, and soon. I wonder if you would say that if you knew the kind of heat the Dragon Queen gives off. But I won't refuse a gift horse when it's staring me in my mouth. Tong's office is downstairs. I'll radio the others to let you through. Thank you very much. Once again, that wasn't hard. It was rather the complete opposite of hard. It was rather trivial. Which is why really it's not worth investing into the... Augmentations that would make these... Well, let's call them speech tests easier. Because it's not that hard to find your way around them on your own. At least in my opinion it's al always rather obvious which replies you're meant to give to pass them. And I mean, I don't know, maybe that's something some people have trouble with, though quite honestly I can't imagine. But yeah, not really much to it. Now let's talk to Tong. If you're not entirely blind to these kind of things, you have probably picked up that, yeah, the bartender is him. I think that was pretty, pretty heavily telegraphed. You see this? Panda screw it up in the fourth. I'm just slushing my money down the pot. Your Tong. Hey, you only Whoa. work that out now. Guess you're not as sharp as you think. How about you tell me who you work for? Then I decide what I tell you about Van Bruggen. Does the name Seraph Industries ring any bells? Seraph Industries? Isn't that that American company stole all the headlines a while back? You still in business? Why wouldn't we be? Check the news. Biotech corporations seem to be failing a lot these days, especially the ones who are making enhancements. Van Bruggen's in the Alice Garden pods, capsule 301. Place is a rat hole, but it's useful sometimes. Make sure you leave him in the same shape you find him. And if I don't? Your call. But those implants of yours might look even more special on somebody else. Pleasure doing business with you. So now we know where Ari van Bruggen is hiding out. Hey, an ebook. Let's read it. The use of neuromuscular facilitation systems by you, Darrow. As we have already find out, found out, the inventor of human augmentations. Feel free to read it. Or don't, you know, whatever. As with many of the locations in this game, I would say that this room is pretty well designed when it comes to details and whatnot. And just look at these posters and these photos and the ones right here. A lot of, a lot of small little details and some money here, which is even better. I think that guy also has a... Uh, well, later, I guess. We'll at some point also have a side quest for us, but it appears not right now. Malik, you were right. Tong is helping Van Bruggen. He stashed him in the Alice Garden pods. Thought as much. A hacker who knows his way around corporate firewalls would make a valuable asset for the triads. I'm at the pods myself, Jensen. Want me to run interference? No. Don't put yourself at risk. I'm heading there now. Yeah, I'm gonna do that myself. Just, uh... Got to get out through the toilets again. And, well, I might consider making a cut here. But, 
Seeing how we have not yet spent too much time in this area, I think it would be better if I didn't cut it out. Because there are still a lot of little, uh, little nooks and crannies that we haven't seen yet. And I think my responsibility as a let's player, as your guide through this video game right here, is to show you as much of the game as possible. So, not gonna make a cut here. Just try to uh, get quickly to the hotel that Van Bogen stays in. I don't care. Someone's personal troubles are none of my business. What's that? Ammunition case. Oh well, don't mind if I do. There are a lot of small little storage rooms where you can very easily steal supplies if you are inclined to do so. Yep, garden pot. That's where we want to go. And meet with the man calling himself Windmill. Because he's Dutch. And that's like one of the things the Dutch are known for. What is it? Windmill, cannabis, uh, tulips, and wooden shoes? Right. Though I reckon aside from these things, they're pretty much just Germans. <laughs> Well, no, not really. uh, I think it would be a bit unfair to say that. But it is kinda what you'd associate with them. If I tried to hack this, would they attack me? Only one way to find out. This is not the place for you. Get out my way! I see, I see. Just uh just wanted to make sure. No offense, friend, harvester. I uh, don't mean any uh, anything bad to you, no sir. How are yes, you doing? Yes, yes. Beds on second and third floor. Showers and laundry in basement. You want a part? This does not seem like a place I would ever stay on my own. Or rather, I would ever stay voluntarily. But I might want to look into that reception. Sure hope that this is going to work out because that's a pretty high security rating and all. Okay, how do I go about this? Definitely take in this one. Take in both of these. Then take in this. Then take in this. Then take in this too. And probably this too while I'm at it. Then take in this. And then at last take in this. Access granted. I'm still thinking about cutting the hacking out, but then on the other hand it is part of the game. And I would say a fairly major part. Oh hey, another ebook. One about triads. The uh, Chinese organized crime. Which is something that some people might find interesting, other people might not, but I don't care much about these people. No, he's just in there doing his thing. So I'm going to crack that safe. You know what, I am actually going to cut it out, it's not that important. We're in. We can take the money, which is quite a lot of money, to be honest. And we're going to hack into that PC too. And I'm going to cut it out again. Here we are. I have to admit I had to waste some of my... I think... Stoppers or something they're called. Well, I have... I had to waste some of the items that stopped the security systems. Just so that you could read all this. Yep. <sighs> I just had to sneeze. If I was discreet about it, you didn't hear it. Uh, but, uh, as always, you can read this if you wanna. If you don't wanna, 
I already said that that's fine too. I'm not gonna judge you or anything of that sort. But now let's talk to our hacker. Let's talk to Ahi. Jensen, I... I was on my way out. What are you doing here, Malik? I told you I got this one. I know. I, I didn't do anything. Trust me. Van Bruggen's all yours. Hang on a second. Something's wrong. What is it? Why are you here? It's nothing. I mean, can't a girl have secrets? Sure, I guess, but... Uh, let's go with these. Let's, let's be coy about sure. this. Sure. Makes them more interesting that way. But when the girl is my pilot and my only ticket out of here, I prefer a more open relationship. Good point. Glad you agree. But you still haven't answered the question. Fine, since you're so damn curious. Years ago, I used to live here, remember? My friend, my best friend, Evelyn. She was like a sister to me. Made living here fun. But then there was an accident. She... She's dead. I'm sorry, Malik. Wait, Jensen, let me finish. I thought I was okay with it, but... I know. I know she didn't just die. She was killed. Murdered. Her damn scumbag boyfriend did it. I know he did. I knew he was trouble right from the start, but she just wouldn't listen to me. Malik, easy. If your friend was murdered, the police would have suspected something. They would have investigated. That's just it. There was no investigation. They said she fell down a flight of stairs like it was some kind of freak accident. But her wounds, the way she died, they don't add up. It's right here in the damn blood spatter analysis. Blood spatter? You've seen the police report? Yes. A friend left a copy of it in a pod here for me to pick up. Listen, I know it sounds crazy, but I think... I think there's been a cover-up. I just have to prove it. If I could get my hands on the autopsy report, the one that never surfaced, I know I'd get the truth. Except... Why do I suspect I'm about to get dragged into something? Look, Jensen, I'm sorry. I know Van Bruggen is the priority here. And I told you it was my business and I could take care of it. It's just... The more I think about it, the more I realize I'm in over my head. I'm just a... Pilot. I'm not a damn cop. But I need to know the truth. In case you can't tell, it's a side quest. And one that I'm going to accept. Okay, I'll help. What do you need to do? My lead. He works for Lim. He's a systems technician who apparently has access to their entire database. He's willing to hand over a copy of Evelyn's autopsy report. So you want me to meet him and get the report? Is that it? Yes, but he'll only respond to a certain phrase. Death and life have their determined appointments. To which he'll reply, riches and honors depend upon heaven. Christ, Malik, this is starting to sound like something out of a bad spy movie. I know. He's just trying to protect himself. I didn't pick the damn quote. So just play along and remember the line, okay? You'll find him inside the lobby of the Lower Hengshaw Lim Clinic. Does this guy have a name? None that I know of. But he apparently goes by the handle Anonymous X. I know, I know. Anonymous X. Okay, anything else? Yeah, before I forget, everything concerning Evelyn's incident, newspaper articles, the police report, limb details, it's all inside pod 009 here in the hotel. You should read over everything if you can. Pod 9. Got it. I need to go. Contact me with any updates and... Thank you. I really appreciate this, Jensen. No problem at all. My pleasure, in fact. But now let's get to the important part. Let's talk to Van Poon. And we are going to attend to that side quest probably next time. In fact, I'm going to say, in all likelihood, yeah, next time. I'm circulating a For now, what we're gonna, where we're gonna go is up. Will you sign? And the way up should be... As soon as the installation is complete. Oh, right here. I seem to remember that you might actually live all the way upstairs. What do you think is where the living quarters are? Down there there's just that Machong Hall or whatever that was. I don't know, would it be a Machong Hall? Do they play Machong in China or is that a Japanese thing? To be perfectly honest, I don't really know. But no, where we want to go is this right here. And apparently this is... Pretty much what an hotel room is in dystopian future China. Forget it, man. You're not my type. This isn't a booty call, Van Bruggen. This is about you and some friends of yours I met in Detroit. Detroit? 
Yeah, okay. I got it now. You had Seraph, right? You were there when I had to pull the plug. So you admit it. You were running a mole. The heck, man. Just the heck. Worst decision I ever made taking that gig. As you can obviously see. You attack my people, Windmill. You hope to walk away from this. You tell me what you know. Damn, boy. I've got no allegiance to that backstabbing bitch who hired me. Especially after she painted a target on my back. The girl you want is Zhao Yunru. Tai Young Medical CEO. Tai Young Medical? They're Sarah's biggest competition. How do you think they got that way? Zhao doesn't like competition, see? So she uses hack attacks, blackmail, extortion, anything she can do to destabilize it. No offense, but Sarif was just the latest in a long line. You got any proof of this? There's a surveillance recording in the Tai Young Tower. I stashed it on the server in case I ever needed an insurance policy. Not a very smart place to hide it, seeing as you don't work there anymore. Things got hot before I could move it. And now, I got you to get it for me. Of course, you can't just walk into that place. You're gonna need an employee card encoded with your biometrics to use the TYM shuttle. Let me guess. You're gonna tell me where to get one. Hey, I'm always prepared. There's a certain security guard likes to dabble with the ladies. <laughs> You'll find him at the Hong Hua Hotel top floor corner room. Sneak in, snatch the card while he's otherwise engaged and bring it back here so I can code it with the biometrics in your passport. I was there when you flatlined that mole, Van Bruggen. You think I'm gonna trust you? You have to if you want that evidence. Now run along, Sarif man. And don't get too distracted watching the action. Okay, now at least we we are done with that. Which means I'm probably going to wrap it up for today, uh, gonna call it an episode. So as you all know, I'm your German snob, this is Let's Play Deus Ex Human Revolution. And I hope you will join me again next time. Until then, well, enjoy yourself. Uh, and uh, ciao!